Welcome back everyone, Mr. Safe here again. I have a question for you as usual at the beginning. Here we go. <laughs> what is he doing here? Mr. Safe, <laughs> he's eating. Um, what does he eat? A burger sandwich, maybe? And he's drinking juice? Mm -hmm. But why? The question right now, why he's eating? Why do you eat? Why every human needs to eat? Does it matter? Is it important? Yes, because if we didn't eat, you lose your energy. You cannot be able to do anything. You feel tired. For example, can you just go play football match without eating your breakfast? Yes, I cannot. I cannot do this. Or if I did this, I'm going to be really tired because I don't have much energy to play football or I don't have energy to do the job or the work that I need to do it. This is why we are going to study energy. So can you tell me please, what's the common thing between this boy and the car? Maybe the boy is eating sandwich. Why the car cannot eat the sandwich? Because it doesn't have mouth. <laughs> I was joking. Okay, the car has its own source of energy, which is fuel, okay? So both need energy. But the source of energy is different, which means we have many sources of energy as we have many forms of energy. In this series, we are going to study forms of energy, and then we're going to study the sources of energy later on. So let's get started. So what does it mean, energy? If you don't know, let's think together. Energy means, you said, Mr. Safe, we are eating to get energy to be able to work and the car needs energy to work every device needs an energy to work so here energy means are you able to do work or no if you have energy that means you are able to do work if you have no energy you are not able to do work so that means energy ability to do work so can you tell me which form of energy is represented by each of the following machines Let's start by this one. Here is an electric lamp. Which form of energy is represented here? Here, light. Excellent. What about the electric fan? Okay, I'm talking about the produced energy, the, the movement of the air from the fan here. It's kinetic energy. Excellent. And here, yes, this is a piano and it produces sound energy. Amazing. So let's study more forms of energy. I'm going to ask you the question and then give you time to think about the right answer. This time is maybe three seconds. <laughs> Let's try. I know you can catch the right answer in less time. Here is the sun and here is an electric lamp. Which form of energy is produced from them? Exactly, the light energy. They produce light energy for you. Um, light and heat energy. Sometimes they say it's heat and light energy together. The second question, which form of energy is represented by the following here? Which form of energy is produced by the radio and the piano? It's a form of energy you can hear, which is sound energy, amazing. And here, one of the easiest form of energy ever. It's produced by the electric heater, the energy that comes out from the heater. Heat energy, if this is your answer, you are amazing. And here is the next one. It's the form of energy that produced by the movement of the electric fan here and the washing machine. Which form of energy is produced here? Yes, it's a movement. But we don't have a word known as movement in the forms of energy, but we have alternative word. It has the same meaning, which is kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is produced by the electric fan and the washing machine. So as much as you can, focus on this. This is the trickiest part in the lesson. I'm going to help you, come on. Okay, let's get it started by the solar panel, which is in front of you. The solar panel represents one of the trickiest points ever in this lesson. Why? Because it produces electric energy. And that's the point. The students think it takes the light energy, so it produces light energy. No, the sun maybe produces light energy for you, but the solar panel take it. 
doesn't produce it, okay? So it takes light and convert this light energy into electric energy. So electric energy is produced from the solar panel, okay? The consumed one, the used one is light, but the produced one, the one that comes out from the solar panel is electric energy. It's the same idea of the battery, which is in front of you. It produces also electric energy, but is it the stored one inside? No. It is stored inside chemical energy. A chemical material is stored inside the battery. So it depends on the question that you see in the page or in the exam. If you see the produced energy that comes out from the solar panel, it's electric energy. If it's produced from the battery, if it comes out from the battery, it's electric energy. But the used one or the stored one inside is different. The stored one here, the income energy that goes inside, not electric, it's light energy. So it takes light energy, but gives out, produces electric. The battery stores inside chemical energy, but produces for you electric energy. Easy? The next point is tricky as well, which is the difference between potential and kinetic energy. I'm going to simplify this part for you as much as I can, but I need you to focus. <laughs> Come on. What do you see here is a spring, this one, and also this one. It's found in some toys. We use the spring in some old toys to make them work. How this going to happen? Let's take a look. So simply, how to make the spring toy work? All you have to do is just twisting. Start the twisting, leave it, it's going to work, it's going to move, as you can see here. But how does this represent a form of energy? You want a secret? It represents both of potential and kinetic energy. So we have two forms of energy here, not just one. But Mr. Safe, I need more explanation. Here we go. I need you to take a look here. Look, when you start twisting the spring, when you twist the spring like this, you are storing inside potential energy. So when you press or twist the spring, the stored energy inside is potential, stored energy. It's hidden inside, waiting to be converted later on. When you leave the spring, it moves. It moves like this. So the potential energy stored inside the toy is converted into kinetic. So there is a link or a relationship between the potential energy and the kinetic energy. As much as you store inside potential energy, the kinetic energy which is produced going to be more, which means the toy or the spring in the toy to be specific converts the potential energy into kinetic energy. Which one of them is a stored energy? So the word stored refers to potential energy, but the other one which represents the movement, it's the kinetic energy. Kinetic is represented by the motion or the movement of the object, and it's converted by more potential energy. So store inside potential energy comes out kinetic energy. The next part is a little bit tricky, but as usual, I trust in you, you can catch it. Here we go. We have changes of energy. I know if I asked you which form of energy is produced by the violin here, immediately you are going to say sound energy. And it's the same in the guitar, it's sound energy. But the question right now is not always the produced energy. Sometimes I'm going to ask you what's the used energy? What's the stored energy? What's the income one? Is there a difference? Exactly. We have a slightly difference. In the violin, you need to move a hand like most of musical instrument. You need motion to make them produce sound. So they take something and give you something. They take a form of energy, which is kinetic energy. Okay, they take kinetic energy and produce for you sound energy. It's the same here in the guitar and most of musical instrument. Get it? And here is the trickiest part in the lesson. The trickiest the change of energy, the dynamo. I don't know why the students got confused in this, but I'm trying to organize this. Take a look. This is the dynamo, okay? 
a device, an electric device found in the bicycle or some cars. Um, but we are going to study the small one here in front of you. We are not going to study the large one. This is the dynamo. What's the main function of the dynamo? We don't know. Let's discover. The dynamo converts the movement of the wheels here. It takes the movement of the wheel to produce electric energy. So what's the function of the dynamo here? It uses, so it takes what? Kinetic energy and produces what? Electric energy. The electric lamp. Here, it's in front of you. The electric lamp is the same of most of electric devices, or you can say all of the electric devices uses the same source of energy because they are electric devices. So want a secret? Any electric device uses electric energy. As the electric lamp, they use the energy inside. The energy that comes inside is electric energy. But the produced one, the form of energy that comes out from the lamp it's light. So which form of energy found in the lamp? It's not a specific question, Mr. Safe. You didn't say used or produced. OK, let's make it a specific. Which form of energy is produced from the lamp? Here we can answer. It's light. But which form of energy is used inside the lamp to make it work? It's electric. So electric lamp converts electric energy to light energy. So as I told you before, all electric devices use the same source of energy, which is electricity. So the electric fan, the washing machine, and finally the electric mixer, all of them use electric energy to work. They use the energy is the same source of energy in all of them, in all of the electric devices. Which form of energy is produced? This is a different question. What's it produced here from the electric fan? Movement, which means radiant, kinetic energy. And here, which form of energy is produced? It's the same, kinetic energy. And finally, the electric mixer also produces kinetic energy. So which form of energy is used in the electric radio? Let's take a look. It's an electric device, so it uses electric energy and produces for you Yes, sound energy, like most of musical instruments. Then next the question, which form of energy is used in the solar heater? Mm, we don't know. Let's try to think together. I'm going to help you as usual. Divide the word. It's solar heater. Here we go. It takes the solar energy, energy from the sun. So this is the income one. The income energy in the solar heater is solar energy. This is the used one, but the produced one your heater. So the solar heater takes solar energy and converts it into heat energy. So what about the solar panel or the solar cells? Take a look here. That's the solar panel. It takes also solar energy, the energy that they can take from the sun. Okay, that's solar energy and produces for you electric energy. And that's the difference between the solar panel and the solar heater. Solar panel or the solar cells takes solar energy converted into electricity, simple. The other one, which is the solar heater, takes the solar energy and converts it into heat. Because you were very smart in the previous lesson, I created a gift for you. You can find the link of this game below down the video. Just don't forget to make like, subscribe if you didn't make it yet, and feel free to ask me any question in the comments below. Don't forget, I can create any game for any lesson you want. Just tell me in the comments. And let's try to solve the question together. <laughs> energy used in the electric mixer. The electric mixer, that's an electric device. And it uses what? I guess it's electric energy. Let's try. Amazing! Right. Amazing. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.